Hello everyone, welcome to Rye Guy Plays Games, welcome to the start of the Random Draft League. It's very exciting. Uh, we have a very good game, uh, Dysol and I are just getting set up here, Dysol is streaming as well, make sure if you hop in, go check out their stream. Uh, we will be drafting live on stream, which I like, uh, you know, have a record of, of my thoughts and how the draft went. I am not the best draft player uh but Dysol is one of the best so this should be really interesting and i will be very curious to hear her thoughts uh after both after the draft and after the game and from her stream while we're drafting uh this is the pool here we've got algamo uh, which is a vc figure sam brown ogre pulverizer six shadow hounds four cathar four gorilla naders a Feral Troll, Forex Phantom Knights, Azazel, Zombie Hulk, Tagawa Samurai, Warden 816, Marcus Decimus Gallus, Brunak, and Vinak Warlords. We've got a lot going on. Uh, Dysol's in the chat. Let's hop in. Dysol, what's up? Hello. How are you doing? Not too bad. Yeah. It's been... It's been a bit of a day. Yeah, you've had, well, you've had quite the uh, quite the last few days. How how does it feel to be a homeowner? So that actually happened on Friday. Yeah. Um, That's exciting. Yeah. Um, technically, uh, I'm not moved over there yet. There's been like four things moved over at this point. I'm probably going to move over a couple more tonight, but I'm probably not going to be fully moved in until May. So that's, that's so exciting. Is it is it close to where you currently? live yeah i wouldn't say it's far away but i wouldn't say it's close either so oh but you're not like moving cities or something no 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 same oh, city just okay. basically moving across the town but you know okay. yeah nice yeah no that's that's awesome um yeah glad we could get this game in yeah yeah it was one of those things where I, uh, my ohs person um basically was not this was the last night that he was gonna be able to do it and he's like now we're still out in my area, so can't do it. And I'm like, all right, let's just let's just try and get the get the random draft game in, so I have more time for things. Yeah, so, one, less, one less thing to worry about. Yeah, since I'd already kind of been like, I'm planning, I'm playing a game tonight, so yeah, I'm gonna find it in my brain space. Sure. Um. Yeah. yeah so. This this should be. I don't love this map. I don't think. I don't think anyone loves this map. Yeah, there's been, for anyone watching this back, there's been some controversy. I don't know if that's the right word. There's definitely been some strong opinions about this map and the use of this map uh, in this season. The idea was that in a draft format, in a random draft format, uh, map problems wouldn't be as big of an issue because you could mitigate them by your drafting. So something like this with level six height, which you don't see a lot next to level one height, uh, or something like turret rock, something similar that's very abusable by certain armies and also just very unfun. You would think that you could mitigate that, but from my understanding, games have still felt pretty one-sided. Uh, however, the draft came out, not every game, but uh, yeah, it should be it. We're definitely playing the map as much as we're playing each other and playing the draft. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I have I have a general game plan, no matter how this sort of shakes out. But we'll see if it's actually a good game plan or if I'm estimating things correctly. Okay. So I I have not I have not looked at the draft pool at all. So I may be a little bit slow. Okay, well, um, I brought in everything. We have Marcus. That's really funny. Uh, are are these pools bigger than uh, the Classic League random draft pools were? They, this seems like a lot of units, but maybe... So they, so I believe that... So it's, so it's 15 cards. Okay. Was that the same? Was that the same or more than so the Classic League? Classic was going off of point totals. This is just going straight off of cards. Oh, oh, okay. So then it was, it was less, probably on average, probably. I think so. Yeah. So, okay. 
there's a, yeah, there's a lot to to think about here for sure. Um, um do you want to dice off? I guess we can let's start do with it. that. Okay. Uh, well, that's a four. I think that's fine. I want the decision to, to not be in my. That's head. a fourteen. Cool. Yes, um, a... I will choose to be player A. Okay. Which means I pick second and I get a strike. That's yes, and you can strike. You can do a partial strike as well. You, you know, ban like strike. five of the shadow hounds because that's the right call. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to leave you with that tempting option of one less optimal shadow hound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You 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 see me? You see uh, me? Yeah, yeah. No, I yeah. No, it totally makes sense. Um, the question is, do I do four or five? Really, uh, and that's what I'll have to think about uh man yeah there's there's a lot here okay uh and it's this is the same i really should have i really should have read the rules more closely it, it's going to be the same uh th the same drafting format as the classic yep. league where you can pick four gorillinators and then i get four picks of whatever or you can pick correct. six x shadow hounds and then i get correct six x okay cool Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna dive into this and see uh see what I want to draft or well what I want to strike. Okay, time to do some thinking out loud. Azazel is very good. Uh, flyer multi attack can come back. It's a huge pain. Uh, Phantom Knights also very strong. Huge pain. Huge pain. And I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sure there's an answer to them on this map. I'm not totally sure there's an answer to them on this map. Uh, if she just goes ahead and drafts like 3x Phantom Knights, which is what I would do. Oh, there is Cathar. Actually, okay, there's Cathar, and then uh, there's Gorilla Nators to deal with that. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, but Cathar, hmm. Ooh, are Cathar really that good into Phantom Knights? That's a question I don't know the answer to. That's That's a huge problem. Um, the unique stuff, like Zombie Hulk's never going to get draft, Shadow Hunt's never going to get draft, uh, Ogre Pulverizer, probably not, um, yeah, Brunak is actually also really funny, um, because he can set someone up, up there, <laughs> he can, he can send someone up there. I'm not sure who you'd who you'd want to sit up there. Uh, Brunak is is not a terrible choice. Brunak's really not a terrible choice. Um, I mean, Azazel's really good. He's a huge use of points. Can you take him out before he fulfills his points? Is the question. And I feel like Cathar could do a pretty decent job. I feel like Cathar could do a pretty decent job. Um, it's just uh. You know, can you keep the game going long enough? Uh, Kelda being on the map is big. Do we want to strike anything? Do we feel like if she goes Phantom Knights, uh, Cathar is strong enough to stop that? No, I think... And then she could just go 4x Cathar. There's an 18-figure limit. 4x Cathar is super strong. I think Gorilla Nators are stronger with how slow they are. Um, ooh, but Cathar don't have to be, oh, Cathar don't have to be adjacent. Okay, so the rock, paper, scissors thing. Sorry, I, I'm taking my time here. I get um, it, I get it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of explaining to anyone watching my stream okay. what my general plan is. Great, that's great. I, I'm looking for I'm looking forward to watching that back uh, to see exactly where I went wrong. Um, <laughs> no, no, we haven't. We don't, we don't know that that's happened we'll yet. See. I, 
this 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 pool is very interesting. Um, I am actually tempted to strike five X Shadow Hounds just for the meme. Um, because I I'm leaning towards no strike at this point. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna strike five X Shadow Hounds. Alrighty. Uh. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Put. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Draft. All right, guy. Strikes. <laughs> Shadow. Hounds. Cool. There we go. All right, I'm going to start off the draft with three XPKs. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Just trying to record the draft here. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I should probably put them. I think that will help make things a little clearer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Ted Gawa, our great pick into 3x phantoms Dysel's got 260 points left so we kind of want to mitigate uh sort of what she can do with that does this mean i have four picks or three picks i have three because i only drafted three pks okay um so i'm player a so i made i made essentially Three picks. So I mean, my first pick is PKs. My second pick is PKs. My third pick is PKs. So your first, second, and third picks are what's up. Okay. Gotcha. Um, hmm. Do we know if the bug on Hero Scapers has been fixed? Where Which one? Cards show up. <laughs> yeah. I'll, okay. I'll just go to dot org. I'm looking at the book of Azazel the Curie Warrior to see what his attack is. And the card? Uh, it should be four. It is four. Okay. That's not too bad, Azazel. It's not too bad. Man, is having Azazel. Too much of a problem. No, Cathar can totally handle him. I'm wondering if I go X Cathar, she can take X Gorillinators though. Uh, but we can just get a Tagawa to height like right away. Yeah, I mean that's so nice. Okay. Um we are going to go with uh, the Tagawa Samurai uh, for the first one. I think probably Brunak for the second one. Man, Azazel is such an annoying pick. Agamo is a beast, actually. Okay, well, this card is here. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> I think we want to go with Uh, let's see. So the Tagawa have six move, but they're height five. That means they can't go up the sides of the. They can't go up the Correct. sides of the level six stuff. Correct. Okay, that's also pretty funny. Uh, in that case, we'll go with Brunek. And um... uh, what does that put us at for points? Prince is at 220, so we've got 280 points left. Uh, gosh, Cathar expensive. Um, I don't know, do we think Tagawa can take out... Are they going to take a wound if they move off of that as well? Uh, you mean if they move, if they move from, from, the six to the one, from 6 to 1? That, Correct. Is that falling damage? Okay. Falling damage would apply. Okay. Um, all right. I feel like we need a Zazel. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I hate to say it. I feel like we need a Zazel. All right. We'll go with the Zazel then. So we're at 220, 320, 395. Ooh, okay. So we have room for one X Cathar or an Ogre Pulverizer. I like that. Or Warden. Warden wouldn't be terrible in an endgame versus phantoms. Yeah. Right. See, Tagawa at 110, Brunegg at 100. So that's 210. Oh, wait, 210. 310. Oh, okay. So we're only at 385. So we have 115 points left. Not that we're going to be able to do much with that. Um, we could get one X squad of Phantom Knights, actually. Oh, wait. <laughs> one X squad of Phantom Knights and the last Shadowhound. Actually. So I only have one pick, right? Uh, yes. I picked exactly three. Yep. I think I need to go for Elinator's X2. Actually, um, and you okay. have 110 left, right? Uh, I have 115, I believe. 115, right? Uh, let me let me double check that math. I believe so. so Which is kind of an awkward point total. But... Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, 115. All right, good. I, I can do arithmetic. I will grab a single squad of Gorillinators. A single squad of Gorillinators. There's no reason for me to grab more because you're going to get another pick. Yeah, I, I, you, you, you get a pick no matter what, and I feel like yeah, I mean, grabbing a single squad of Gorillas. I, I'm gonna you can, you can, only, you can only take one squad of Gorillas at this point, so right. me drafting one is not... Any worse for me? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out my draft here, uh, regardless. Okay. Well, uh, how many points does that put you at? Uh, that puts me two, at two forty three fifteen. No, three twenty five. No, that's still wrong. Three fifteen. I think. I'm double check. Okay. Yeah, I think you've got one hundred eighty five. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got 185 to go. Okay. 
Um, I'll look up one more card here, and then I've got the decision made. Okay. So three attack into Phantom Knights, but he regenerates. That's good. Uh, feels like pretty good end game, honestly. Uh, can you stall it out with the books long enough? I don't think so. She's got range. She's got move flying. Okay, we'll take the last squad of Phantom Knights. And you have no more points left to be able to purchase anything at this point, right? I have thirty. I have thirty. Oh, you you can, you can get a shadow hound. You can get a shadow hound. Good, good thing I banned only five. <laughs> yep. Uh, feel free to deny me that pick, by the way. Um, just just throwing that out there. Uh. <laughs> Yep, 115 minus 80, 35 points left. So funny. So funny. Um, yeah, we'll take the uh, that last Shadow Hound. <laughs> it's, I love it. I love it. That last shot, the, the only Shadow Hound we didn't ban for the hell of it. And uh, he's... He's gonna be he's gonna be making an appearance unless Dizel drafts him, but I don't know why she would with 185 points left. Because you could actually do something useful with that. You know, you could take Yeah. Two X Gorillanators. Oh, I guess uh oh, she should take the Shadow Hound. She can take two X Gorillanators. Oh, but then she has to drop it because of uh 18 trigger limit anyway. Okay. Well, We'll see if my Unique's build can win it. It's kind of what it comes down to. Tab it. have it type in book of here's keepers book of we got that my fingers have that memorized it's beautiful um okay yeah um five move flying not as fast as pk's which is a pain but three defense and four life uh he should stay alive long enough uh she uh Right now, I'm the only one who can use the Keldeglyph, and right now it's a Zazel, which is a huge pain. She does have one squad of grand. The thing is now, 1x Gorillinators. That's not great. I think she's kind of forced herself in a position where she needs to take at least another squad to make it worth it. But then you only have 115 points left and I get the Shadow Hound. So then you're either down points. Mega Silver, welcome. Welcome. Feel free to raid our draft. <laughs> I uh, actually I don't know if you can see it behind my fat head. Hold on. 
Uh, okay. Well, I'll I'll move it up. I'll move up the draft. Um, uh, once we've placed all our figures and stuff, I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it higher up. It's been an interesting draft. I feel like Dice will definitely has an advantage. Uh, but that's okay. I I think we'll I think we'll manage. I think we'll manage. Um. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I believe this math works out right. Another squad of gorillas and the pulverizer. Okay, I do get to close out the shadow hound in between there, but. Um, oh yeah, I guess I guess yeah. I, I, you I, weren't you weren't gonna stop me. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I thought you... about it. I thought about doing I, a gommel and the shadow I, hound, but I liked this set up slightly better yeah i i think i was just saying i feel like you kind of were in a situation where you had to take at least one more squad of gorillinators to make that first pick worth it uh it was gorillinators and and who uh ogre the pulverizer ogre, ogre pulverizer so uh now the question for you is who places first um let's see is the map symmetrical no not even close okay Oh God. Uh, okay. Uh, if I were to move Brunak from this spot, could I get onto Kelda? Because I can move the Kelda is on. Oh, Kelda is on water. Never mind. Okay. Kelda is I on thought, water. I thought Kelda was on land. Okay. Um. So I, I believe the answer to that question is yes, because I don't believe you stop your movement until you are until both feetsies are in the water. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, and I need to look up some cards. I'm going to start deleting the stuff that wasn't taken. Okay, go for it. Still, are you figuring out who's yeah, placing first? I, I think I'll, I think I'll place first and take the. I think I'll place first and take the right side. I think I think that makes sense. Shadowhound the thing spacer. I love it. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> See how this unique build can do. Very technically it's not a unique build. <laughs> in in all but in all but uh practice.
just stick that right in there so people can see if they're curious how the draft went. This map is so wide, it's hard to fit everything in the screen. Oof. Okay. Uh, do you want to change the color of your phantoms, or you want me to change mine? Uh, I can change mine. That's totally fine. Okay, uh, <laughs> there we go. This is a oddball little crew we have here. All right. Good luck. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Good luck. Yeah, you too. I had to change those order markers right at the end because I completely forgot I had his ace on my army. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to remove the F in front of his Azel's name. It just says F is Azel now. That's fine. All oh, right. Uh, For some reason, thought I didn't win an it. A nine definitely beats a two. Definitely beats a two. All right. How does this rejected by death thing work? Start of each of my turns, roll a d20. 19 or higher. Jason, to any figure I control, remove all wind marks on Zale's card. Cool. My cat's trying to get into this room. <laughs> okay. One is on his Azel. Is his move? It's only five. Okay. All right. We're going to run him forward as far as he can go. This is such a wide, such a wide map. And what's your base move? Uh, it is five. We're not super speedy. Mega Silver, such a silly map for the event. Yeah, I, I didn't realize so I joined the Discord very late. I didn't join until after the season started. I didn't even realize there was a Discord. Dysol had to invite me in because the link was broken. And uh, yeah. I had no idea Jacob had suggested this map. I have to assume, knowing him, I don't think he was serious. Uh, but I mean, he's been you know, pseudo-joking about it. No one else was given suggestions, so, you know. <laughs> yep, and no one else was given suggestions, so. He, uh, Fuzing took it. I don't, I don't love it. Uh, it, it's funny, um, the Niffle Glyph is on this map. None of us, none of us are gonna, I mean. Neither of us are going to make use of that. It's so far out there. 
I mean, um, it could. I I could, I suppose. Um. Okay. Hop right there. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can get one closer. Okay, we'll do that. Make it over. I'd have let Food Zing use my Discord if you told me beforehand. Give him a separate channel. That's fair. Yeah, I make it over. I joined last second as well. Ah, That's so Tommy, idea. Tommy is watching your chat, but not mine. I see how it is, Tommy. <laughs> Ooh, I. <laughs> yeah, streamer battle right here. So it's all about. It's about the views, not the, <laughs> not the outcome. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a separate Discord. Um, I, I appreciate you letting me hijack the OST Discord because I don't feel like it's worth it to make a Discord uh, for a YouTube channel with only 100 subscribers, but we'll see. Um, I think, uh, oh, Maggie Silver Mobile only lets me watch one. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta pull up the laptop. You gotta do what uh, what Super Frog does and get the the dual monitors going. Um, audio hell, as he as he calls it. <laughs> um, uh, that's funny. I yeah I the, I don't know the the choice to make the map was strange. I like in a certain sense I I kind of get it. Like again. Anyway, I'm I'm punching uh, Azazel. Oh, yeah. yeah, go for it. <clears throat> punch him real good. I'm happy with that open. Punch him real good. Alrighty, uh, and three is on Azazel. And we're gonna just fly in here. We're gonna attack the bottom one first. Bottom is in. Directionally bottom. You don't actually have. You actually aren't able to get the get that other one. I'm too. It's it's too high up. Oh, You're damn. too high up. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll still do that. I guess. <laughs> I did not realize. Good. Good point. Now there was a reason why I was like, I can go for that glyph, but then you know you get an attack dummy, and then I was like, actually, yep, <clears throat> you don't. That's that's brutal for sure. For sure. Uh okay, I'm sorry, that's my that's my three. Okay. Well, interesting. Interesting. Uh that's gonna make things difficult for me. That is a huge pain, actually, now that I think about it. Um hmm. It's also a difficult spot. Yeah, coming up is weird. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't realize how strong I didn't realize how strong flying would be on this map. Um just just a mistake. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely just a mistake. Um Fully just how much value do you think we can get out of Azazel is the question. I mean one on him for sure. And the X on him as well, definitely. The X on him as well, definitely. Uh yeah, Valda boy. Valda with range flying. No, I didn't draft very well at all, did I? Um, shouldn't have struck the Shadowhound, but maybe the Shadowhound will win the game for me. Three, four, five. Okay. I mean, we can do something good with Brunak for sure. We can do something good with Brunak for sure. How far in are we going to be? I mean, I'd, I'd want to lose initiative and have Azazel survive. That's kind of the thing. So 
Forgot, sorry, I this unique build is, is tough to run. <laughs> Okay, so one on Azazel. Try and hit, hit hit that guy. Two on Brunek. Carry a Tagawa. Yep. Okay. All right. It's not great. Let's do it. <clears throat> Go. All right. Let's hope to see some of those 20s later in the day for sure. Um, all right, let's go right there and let's smack that guy. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Wet like my J. Hungry, hungry Brunak. Yeah, he's, I mean, his, you know, his special, he's kind of, he's kind of smashing. He, he is kind of smashing, for sure. I'm going to send Azazel to the back row. Okay. Okay. Well deserved, I'm sure. Oh. Mostly just the wings are going to be annoying if I do. Oh, to the back. Is that what you said? Yeah, you can basically if you send an image to the back and then send the map oh. to the back. Basically, all the other images then can move ahead of it. I I thought you said I'm going to send him to Valkyrie, and I was like, damn, this is this is good. Trash I mean, I might for, I might be about to kill him. We'll see what happens. Good for Dice Soul. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm doing it with that roll. Let's take him, let's take him out. Um, that's funny. Okay. Um, that is on a PK. What a nice, productive turn for the both of us. Yeah, it's not looking great. Um, okay. How risky do we get here? Uh... It's not great. Okay. We're next just gonna go here. Actually it's probably better to go here. Uh and he's gonna carry this Tagawa up with him. Uh and that will be my turn. All right. All right. Well <laughs> it was probably over. <laughs> Before it even started, I think we're going to spend more time drafting than we spent playing with these PKs. I, yeah, should have, should have struck them. I thought, you know, Qatar, maybe, uh, and then Tagawa and Brunak just look good on paper. I drafted them. Maybe I should have just gone all Qatar. But even that's, yeah, even that's not good. No, I, I just totally misplayed the draft. Okay, she's not going for Tagawa, which is good. I mean, she still has some tough decisions to make for sure. I mean, yeah, Counter Strike is scary. You don't want to get three into fives, so that's the thing. You want to ping at them all day with the Gorilla Nators, for sure. I don't know if she's even going to make... I don't know how many attacks... Yeah, I don't know how many attacks she's even going to make. We're going to make one back there. We're going to make one right here. And... Oh, man. R3 was on his Azel. Would have been a big brain play. Holy cow. Uh, damn. If only. Maybe we should have just gone all Zazel again. 
Just hoped he lived. Get some value out of him. Yeah, if he doesn't die early here. Oh, it's on the PK all the way back there. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, you already rolled. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, that's huge. I'm also going to do the same thing with Bruno. Not a bad attack. All right, seven defense holds for now. All right, uh, three on Tagawa. We're gonna run here. Uh, we'll swing this one to here. And if we're already gonna be on low ground, no, that still makes more sense. Okay. Uh, we will start uh, in the start zone there, three into four. All right. Put one marker on. Uh, we'll take the four into four. Put the marker on. Uh, and then we've got the five and a five. Good block. Okay, two markers is big. Um, does get an attack down, which is annoying, but I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Would have been really nice if the shields fell through there too, just to make that an actual investment. Actually, I guess. Oh yeah, she wouldn't have even been able to get there. That's kind of nice. We've only taken out one squad of PKs. Oh, she's still going for Brunak. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what the thought. I I guess she's she really doesn't want to take out Tagawa. I'm going full Tagawa all the way. As as much as I as much as I can. Hundred percent. That's that's the best thing in my in my army right now. Oh, I guess she's worried about Brunette getting to Kelda. Sure. How does that carry work? This would be before moving Brunette. Oh, and the figure has to be unengaged. How oh, interesting. Learning so much about these figures already. Gonna attack down here. Yep. That's a nice attack. Damn. Ooh, that's also a very good attack. Uh, see, Brunek. Oops, one. Okay, so we know she's willing to take the four into six. She's not willing to do any better. I'm not going to take my third attack. Okay. Can can Brunette climb up there, or is he too short of movement? Um. One, two, three, four, five. His movement is six. So he's one short. Yeah. Okay, that's a bummer. That's a bummer for sure. All right. Well, how do we take out? Uh, how do we take out six more PKs? Is it with two Tagawa? I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I think it has to be. Although, 
Azazel turn one presents a really nice opportunity, actually. Yeah. Um, I think we just have to hope Brunak holds, holds there and that the Tagawa can clean up. Okay, I think we just gotta rely on Tagawa. All right, I think we're ready. I don't love it. I don't love de depending on defense dice. Ooh, that's a good roll. That beats, that beats six. She switched to Gorilla Nader, though. It's pretty important, I think. I wonder if she thinks I went, I risked the X on Azazel. I wonder if she's going to bother putting a phantom on Valda since I still can't get to him. Oh, I would love for her to... Okay, shoot. I was going to say I would love for her to move that into my start zone to attack another phantom. She's not going to make that mistake. So two attacks of four on Brunek, and then... Presumably someone developed. Oh, okay. Oh boy. You block it. He's hanging in there. He's I put him He did he did a good job. As a little little horsey. She's thinking about that last deck. Fun fact, a three and a five has a better chance of getting counterstruck than getting a wound. However, her getting the wound is much more valuable than me getting the counterstrike. And the odds are, it's like really close. I mean, it's like a couple percentage points. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's like, it's like 30% or something. Risking all, I feel a good roll coming on. That's what I'm worried about. Oof. Okay. I suppose I won't complain about that. Worth the risk. Um. <laughs> okay, I think we're just gonna go. Just go right there, um, and swing back around over here by Brunak. Um, uh, five into four. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yikes. Oh, two on Gorilla Naders. Okay, interesting. I guess you think if you lose initiative, you lose two more phantoms. Uh, yeah, I wonder. I don't know. Might be able to take them out. <laughs> yeah, they have line of sight for sure. Uh -oh. It's kind of a bummer. If for three is on Phantom Knights, it means we just got outplayed, which is a huge bummer. Yeah, because uh, I, I have to go for that attack, I think. I have to get her down to a squad. I Yeah, I have to, for sure. For sure. 
So the, the funny thing is about the ground layers, they can't get up there. So you're shooting two into six, but it's safe. You know, it's safe attacks. It's such a weird map. Uh, the, 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 did the designers make this as like a teaching tool for like engagement and stuff? I know this is a scenario, or not a scenario map, but it's like a battle map from like the first Rise of the Valkyrie, isn't it? Something like that. Cool. Okay. All right. Just need one lucky shot. Megas over table of the giants. Yep. Yeah, this is a. Uh, wasn't this in the Rise of the Valkyrie? rule book like the scenario something match. like that yeah something like I, that i yep. asked i asked my stream if this is like a teaching tool or like engagement rules it just feels feels bad um this level six stuff running around uh mega silver yes in the main rule book yeah uh it's weird okay uh we'll make some more attacks uh five into four on the uh the even ground there on the top okay <laughs> cool that feels good all four wounds there uh and then six into five okay. Ooh, the nice thing is that Tagawa could actually hop down Yeah. Okay. She did have three on Gorilla Naders. I would have been flabbergasted by. I would have been blindsided by a Phantom Knight play. But the nice thing is we did kill the, both of them. So now that Phantom Knight can't get anywhere useful, which is really nice. Okay. She's going to pull him back. Choose to be safe. Just use her range advantage, I suppose. Okay. Uh, three is on Tagawa. Hmm. Okay, it's tempting to hop on Dagmar. Ooh, but we could still do a lot of damage coming in there. Okay, I think we're just gonna come here and and uh, and come down here. Yeah. Sounds All right. There we go. <laughs> we made it all the way across the table. How are we feeling about our all our samurai surviving? I'm not feeling great, to be honest. I think eventually quantity of attacks is going to get us. It's going to bite us in the butt. Um, 
yeah, and she's made a really nice little screen there. Um, really smart. Uh, and Azazel opening to clear that up is super nice. But then, of course, she can move in with Gorillinators and still screen off. Um, so she'll get height attacks on our range. Um, I don't know, maybe Azazel's the play. Three, four, five. I mean, can he, he can hit a bunch of Phantom Knights, but then again, so can the Tagawa. Um, thing is, yeah, Zazel at two lives, two into threes. I don't know. Um, I wonder if she's, you know, tempted to go Phantoms. I don't think Azazel, I don't like the Azazel play. No, I think, I think we go all Tagawa again. Maybe that? Maybe? Sure, I don't see why not. Okay, sure. Well, okay, except Azazel can't do anything. But we're not we're not gonna keep all the Tagawa alive, are we? Sorry, I'm I'm still thinking. Oh no worries, no worries. I'm I'm basically saying it's Okay. Yeah. It it depends so much on this initiative. This is a tough one. Um Although yeah, Azazel could run in and just like screen everything off for me. He doesn't he doesn't do anything if he lives, that's the thing, if we like win initiative. Well, but he could present himself as a big problem. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. It's it's the safest play. Okay. I think we are ready. Oh no. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Two in the sixes. She just needs one good attack to make this worth it. My heart is pounding. Oh, okay. I'm dangerously these, close these there. These attacks are taking years off my life. <laughs> I, one, I mean, like, just eventually it has to go through. I'm just waiting for, waiting for that moment. Oh, okay. Um, all right, here's the question. In what order do we do this? Uh it is a really nice little screen. Okay, I think we would like at least not to have any height attacks, which is unfortunate, but. All right, uh, we will make a, uh, a six and a four here, try and punch a hole through the, the center guy. That will do it. Okay, we've also brought him down. Uh, brought him down to two PKs, which is nice. We have the same number. Hi. Of PKs. 
Not immune like, to Counter Strike. So, yeah, I was gonna ask if <laughs> if you the abilities uh, do not stack. It it doesn't stack. Oh, damn. Okay. Nope. Worth worth asking, I suppose. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Uh, five defense. That's not gonna do it. Alrighty. Two on Tagawa. Uh, we're gonna swing around here. And wow, Ogre Pulverizer. Six lives. Yep. A lot more than I thought. Um so these are all Gorillinators here? Yep. Okay. They look this guy looks really big for some reason. <laughs> what might my day it's ogre uh it definitely felt like that that was a really nice order marker uh okay we'll take the six into one on that guy on the left oh no if you could block that oh my god i believe that is called a block <laughs> that is embarrassing oh man well at least there's only two non counter strikeable gorilla nators yeah tough tough indeed um okay azazel's coming in uh we're gonna attack that phantom knight and then pulverizer Pulverizer's defense. It is three. Okay. Well, it's progress. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not over. It's not over by any stretch. By any stretch. Um... I mean, Azazel's a great pick here. I think, I think it's all, I think it's all uh, Ogre Warhulk here. So I think we go two on Azazel and then Tagawa. Sure. I don't see what it matters if she kills all those guys that the game's over anyway. Um, we're never gonna be able to hunt down. Well, okay, I guess we got two Phantom Knights, but. Okay, I don't want to put too many on Azazel in the hopes that she attacks the Tagawa. That's, that's my hope. Well, I mean, she's probably just going all in on the Warhulk, though. Um, yeah. Okay, screw it. I, I think this makes sense. Okay. I am ready. Oof. All right, you get to start. <laughs> yeah, I think that might have been an important one. All right, we'll take the disengage. He takes it. Uh, and we'll do the top and then the bottom, uh, gorilla, gorilla nader. Let's pump them both out. Oh, first one's blocked. Okay. Bottom one's gonna. All right. That's my one. Not as much as I was hoping for. Balanel tough. We'll see. 
Same dance as the last. Yep. And he's got double attack, right? Oh, he doesn't need it. Oh my god. Yeah, he does have double attack. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay. Um, who's on his Azel? And I don't think we want to take another disengage. So we're just going to go here and we're going to go uh, clockwise around that group there and see what happens. That's not bad. All right, that was the only one I could block. Only one. Okay, that was a big turn for Zazel. That is actually huge. That is, this is actually huge. Uh, we're going to take Brunak for a ride, I think. Um, the, I, I'm no expert, but that looks like it's on the pulverizer. It is. Okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought, man, that pulverizer's fast. Okay. My brain, for some reason, thought that that you know, you know I know, I know why my brain did that. The it's Z okay. In there, the gorilla nators. nators it's okay. It's Z. cool. Yeah, I mean, you'll still get use out of the order marker. I still uh, get to do what I was like that, yeah. man. Um, he, <laughs> that's not a mistake. Okay, three was the hope that the Tagal would survive uh, the pulverizer decks. You're gonna shoot. Uh, you're gonna shoot Brunak. We gotta leave Brunak alive. We gotta leave Brunak alive. Uh, yeah, that's scary. Okay. The the really nice thing is. Uh, while you position, I'm going to run to the, the bathroom real quick. Okay. I just got to take a quick break here. Um, built my water. Uh, it's been, it's been a long stream. Uh, but I will be right back for this end game. Okay, so my plan is to just screw around until Zazel comes back. Um, it would be nice to win this initiative to hop on Kelda and get out of the Phantom Knight's way. That would be really nice. Um, I 
Yeah. You know, I almost went with the squad of Cathar over the um, uh, Pulverizer and, like, dropped one of the Cathar. That might have arguably been better, but we'll see. The Pulverizer has certainly done work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no, but we'll see. Work. Um, okay. Uh, excuse me. I think I'm ready with that. All right, let's see it. Okay. Go. One's on Brunek. Uh, we're going to four, five, hop into the water this way and take Kelda. Uh, and that will be my turn. Yeah, not so. Oh, oops, I never rolled for Azazel. Oh, all right. I'll let you. Okay. I would. I will feel bad if this is a 20. Okay, great. And it's 19 or 20? Uh, 19. Oh, yes, 19 or 20. You are correct. Okay. On Brunak. Um, uh, so, okay, no, that's fine. Can I get next to the Phantom anywhere but? this way i can't go on the other side of him can i you can do that yeah that's legal I, okay but i can go i think here yeah because i'd have to you can also go there yeah oh really because i would i would take a movement to swivel oh there, right um and then my movement would stop. no I, I yeah i think i think i think that way you can't go yeah yeah okay. i think if you want to go out you'd have to go out the other way i'd still be in double water okay i mean that's that's fine uh we will do that um, tagging with four. Nice. Okay. Oh, still the neural for a season. All right, this time I'm remembering. Ugh. Okay. There it is. Uh, we'll just stay there and uh, attack with four. Damn. That's really annoying. Yep. Okay. Actually, I think that's all the farther I can get. <laughs> he's not very fast. I think he's going to move a six, but still. Uh, It's only five. Yeah, he's slow. Oh. Well, or it feels slow on this map anyway. Yeah. Okay. Exciting round. Um, okay. Oops, 
Okay, just realized I put a wound on Brunek instead of taking those wounds off. Should be at zero. <laughs> it's like, man, one life on Brunek. That feels weird. Okay, here we go. Go. Cool. Uh, what do we want to do with this? So. Um, I think we want to disengage and go here. Well, we want to disengage and go somewhere. I don't know if it's there for sure, but we definitely want to disengage. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Okay. Okay. So Ogre Pulverizer coming in for attacking the seven defense. Any extra shields I get count as wounds. Okay. We're an actually <laughs> decent counter, I suppose. Wow. Well, that was very annoying, and this is kind of what I mean by yeah, no, the car would have been better. Yeah, I suppose. Uh yeah, wow. Four out of seven, four out of seven. Holy cow. Uh, and she was ro he was rolling so good into the Kazuki, I thought he might just be invincible. Well, no, I, honestly, yeah, no, it's one of those things where I should have just, I don't know. Okay. It's not going to matter. I think, I think you got this. Uh, we'll see. Okay, that's pretty good. Doesn't matter, it's a special attack. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, does that not work for... That does not count for special attacks. Okay. Gotcha. Three on PKs. Uh, go there. Go there. Right. Uh, that is round for me. Yeah, I was wasn't issue. expecting Pulverizer to just take five wounds that into was attack. Crazy. Well, yeah. already the first four to seven, I thought, oh, okay, getting two wounds off of that is pretty yeah. unlikely, I think. Honestly, I'm debating as whether or not I want to even, like, you know what? Let me see something. It's, it's up to you. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be trying to drag this out as long as possible to get Azazel back. I mean, that's that that's my that's my win condition. So yeah, I know, uh, I know that I don't. <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, I mean, we can definitely go another round here. Let's uh, see what this round. Let's see. Let, let me. See. I, there's something very important about this round that will determine that. Okay. Gotcha. I will say, I think probably the key initiative was that turn where you won initiative and got attacks with an, it attacks in with Azazel. Yeah. Oh, for sure. He cleared. That was probably, order. that's probably, that's probably the round that determined, well, this right here, but also, because like, <laughs> what, what are my odds of getting, of dealing, what, two wounds to you? Yeah. I think that was less initiative and more dice. Because even if you'd won initiative and the Ogre Pulverizer had five dice, he still would have taken a ton of wounds there with how that defense rolls worked out yeah if i win initiative then i'm doing five v sevens yeah. yeah that's a little better um yeah probably doesn't go quite quite this bad oh sorry i'm i am ready uh okay all right uh if your order marker one is on brunek i'm gonna concede yes it is 
Okay. Nord Marker one's on Brunak. You're going to kill my Gorillanator. Oh, Yo. he was going to kite. Could you have gotten away from me if you won initiative? Gonna try. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess. Would he? Would he have made a? I don't know if you want me to make this attack to make it. Ah, uh, yeah, might as well. Might, might as well. You might whiff. Okay, I might whiff. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm chasing him down. That's funny. Dysel's predictive powers come to pass. Like I said, it's only when it's... Okay. Uh, is this a leaving engagement? Or yeah, I don't really have any other options. Something? Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, my. This little, this little guy, he's really... Oh, oh, no. Okay, I do have... Okay. I was going to say, there's definitely a chance that that goes through. Uh, of course not. I was, I was like, you gonna whiff? Is it gonna I, make you I gonna? Get... I was, I don't know. Well, you didn't, you didn't call it beforehand. That's why I didn't. Uh... I mean, I did, but it, you didn't hear it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I see, I see. I, it needs to get in my head before I click the apparently I click the button. All right, Brunek, let's not embarrass ourselves on stream again. Oh no. Hey. Oh no. I can block. Oh, good game. Okay, good game. Uh oh, I didn't roll for Azazel. Look, my next order marker, all my order markers are on gorillas. So you okay. go over That's 4v4 right. into a phantom. You got a decent chance. And even if not. Well, I had I had my other three on phantoms just to keep. I, I mean, I probably would have put them all the way back in the start zone or something. Um, yeah, just as long as I can to drag the game out to get Azazel back, basically. Um, so, yeah, my original plan was to basically yeah use Pulverizer to try and kill Burnak and then just try and... Uh, go and kill the uh, Phantom Knights and then yep. save my gorillas for when Azazel came back. But yeah, no, I, I mean, I it was know. a fine plan. And I mean, the thing that... is, like, had I had I gone with Cathar and say drop the Cathar, um, I don't know if that's better because I mean, it definitely does, especially because your entire army is melee, it's actually not a bad idea. I I think the thing was that I you know you know honestly I didn't like drop I didn't like playing with only three Cathar for 105 points. And I felt like the pulverizer did fit played pretty well into all your other options. He, well, in he hindsight did, though, if I was gonna be playing this like sit in the start zone shenanigan nonsense um on table of the giants, really? That's wild. Which you can absolutely yeah. do. Yeah. Um, it does mean that essentially you, both Azazel and the Tagawa probably don't kill as many of my, just my gorillas, which I should have thought about, but. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I would have thought too hard about it at the end there either. I, I think cause you, your Phantom Knights pick was just super strong. And I, I think I still even though I, I, I closed it out because the Tagawa went on a tear. That that was what did it for me. Um, you, I liked the, the Tagawa pick. Just... Um, the thing was, I don't know if I liked it as an early pick because it gave me, I'm just be like, okay, I got to get range or things that hit really hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The, the Phantom Knight, the thing, the thing was, I thought, I thought the play was to ban 2X Phantom Knights. Mm, so you could only get 2X phantoms i thought i thought that was the play the yeah the weird thing is so i was i was looking at banning phantoms i mean that was my mm -hmm. very first pick and that's what i was debating about i actually what i you, thought i had thought debating? i had thought cathar i i was debating about striking the phantom knights for sure um that was my but i i didn't think as hard about it as i could because i thought cathar might be okay into them Cathar were I did not like Cathar on this map. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. Once you drafted three squads of Phantom Knights, I kind of sat there looking at four squads of Cathar for 200 or 420 points or whatever it was, and I kind of felt like that actually really wasn't that good. Because um, you were going to... Reax Cathar and uh, Azazel is not a bad army. 
for this, but it's the thing the... is, I just I just sit there with I basically build a wall with my phantom knights and then just shoot you with gorillas. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. I can you know, you don't have to engage with the phantom knights. You can just make life a real pain for me and if I want to attack you with any meaningful consistency, I have to engage and I lose their whole you know, mm -hmm. their, their whole magic uh against melee so yeah and and it wasn't until after i had struck five x shadow hounds um that i was like oh okay now that i see three xpks that she's taking that feels really bad and then you played them really well um yeah the, the, so yeah the, uh, two, the two plays that the two things that I kind of determined this game was you getting that one initiative where um azazel was able to by one um we, we got a couple turns with azazel um, and my thought process there, like, I, I think I could have gotten to Azazel. I'm not 100% sure if I could or not. Mm -mm. I think my thought process was I wasn't, I, I thought you would have put two order markers on Tagawa over Azazel just because putting two order markers on Azazel when I can hit you twice with an Ogre Pulverizer is a really risky move. So oh, I didn't yeah. think you had your second order marker on Azazel there. No, I bet, um, it worked I, out. I bet a lot on that order marker because I I saw if I if I won I could disengage and then you couldn't get to there was no quiet, way to get to Azazel so I did have two free order markers on him then to hit as many gorilla natives as I could and he ended up rolling really well. Um, yeah, no, that is true. You also rolled really well on that. Um, yeah, so like, and the thing is, I mean, there's also an argument that I should just grab more gorillas. Over, 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 pulverizer. over the over the pulverizer, just so I have more bodies. Which there's a very real argument for that. Um, I suppose it starts to feel worse in that position, though, where the Tagawa start to come in if you only have gorillinators, because the the over really the pulverizer question... is what cleaned out everything from your start zone. Well, so the thing is, um, it really depends on. So I think yes if they are if they've gotten those early kills if they've gotten those early kills it feels bad if you haven't gotten those early kills or say it's the middle of the game and i can basically have my gorillas be shooting down at you with height or if i'm going to get to the center height before you yeah yeah they're, they're um so yeah it's, it's one of those things that's really anyway yeah then, then ogre pulverizer because i think if the ogre pulverizer like like the fact that I took five wounds on that um on those two attacks because like if I deal because th there's a very real chance that I kill you there if I kill Brunak there I think it's very hard for you to win the game after that yeah yeah if you don't take if you don't take so many wounds um, um I mean, and the, yeah and even if i knock you even if i do one wound you basically can't go after my gorillas now yeah well my idea was again i actually i i was trying to make a run for your gorillinators uh if the ogre pulverizer has to hunt down pks on this map i i legitimately don't think he can and i was hoping to kill that phantom knight with two attacks before just to kind of cement that but like if it comes to a situation where i have one phantom knight right here and then you've got your ogre pulverizer. Like I can just infinitely jump back and forth until Azazel comes back. Um, that that was kind of my thinking. That the ogre pulverizer actually wasn't so scary. Not because he wouldn't kill two phantom knights if I had to kill you, but I didn't have to kill you. I just had to live long enough. I mean, to see so one of my thought processes there is I probably take a turn to kill the phantom knight before I get to Azazel. Um, oh, assuming sure. Azazel comes back. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. And then just well, also, the damage. Uh, I don't forget I had that Shadow Hound though. Yeah, the that other option that I considered, apart from Cathar, thing. was Sam Brown and the Zombie Hole over the um, because the thing with the Zombie Hulk is Zombie Hulk, uh, if it's adjacent to you. The Phantom Knights actually got a boost from the Zombie Hulk, which I thought was an interesting synergy. But the Phantom, the Zombie Hulk is just very bad in this oh. matchup, so I didn't like that. Yeah, Paralyzing Fear. That is interesting synergy. But that that yeah. that seems really hard to set up on this map. 
The other option I can also consider, yeah, Nagamo also feels pretty solid here just because, you know, Good six attack if I want it. Yep. And um, also, uh, the Ram, I have a very real chance of um, <laughs> falling damage, <laughs> forcing yeah. to take falling damage. <laughs> so that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I considered those options. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I made the right call. On, well, I'm not 100% sure that Ogre Pulverize was the right call on the draft. Getting the PKs and uh, Grillinators, I liked that call a lot. But yep. everything else I'm not sure about. That, that I'm not sure about. And even then, like, you know, those two things don't happen that way. Yeah. No, I could have lost a full round of order markers there. Um, and then it would have been just a, a scramble to try and keep... Brunak and the two fandoms alive until Zazel came back. I, I mean, I, I was... That was the linchpin of this army, was just try and stall it out um, once once the end game came around, uh, which the dice worked out in my favor that I ended up not, not needing that. Um, Even so, yeah, it was like... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was a good game. Sky will GG's. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a good one. The draft was super interesting. Um, yeah. I, I, I thought it, I, I think you outdrafted me or maybe I outdrafted myself with the shadow. I'm okay. Well, what would you have drafted first if I had banned Phantom Knights? What would what? What, what would you have drafted first had I banned Phantom Knights? I'm curious. Had you been PKs X2? Uh, uh, I might have banned all the PKs actually. Oh, you would have banned all the PKs? Oh, gorillas. PKs. I do I do gorillas X3. Okay. Uh, maybe X4. I'm pretty sure it's X3, but I I I yeah. I do See either that. Gorillas X3 or Gorillas X4. Yeah, okay. So that feels pretty bad too. So I guess banning all the PKs was probably the mistake. Yeah, no, I I, I mathed this out because like basically um and if you ban two X PKs, I think think the call is to draft it's either drafting pk's x2 or drafting gorillas x3 yeah i don't remember i i i played something in my head a couple times okay. but... that also feels really strong so maybe maybe not striking anything was was the right call because that feels see, like a bad position for me to a few of see that's the thing is i don't know because well, I could have gone four XPKs. The reason I didn't was because, well, I guess I could have gone four XPKs and two X Gorillas, which probably might have been the better call here. Um, but yeah, the thing I was worried about was uh, I don't know. The thing was with three X. Um, basically, you if you drafted four X of any squad, you couldn't get more than 2x of any other squad so yep. that was kind of my thing is that so i don't know maybe i should have gone 4x pks because then here's will plays a lot harder to pull off when i have all the pks yeah. so yeah it's a lot of pks to to churn through uh i probably still end up taking tagawa in that situation actually yeah no, and, I, I, think, and Runic. I think i think you kind of need to once someone has a bunch of uh bunch of pks yeah 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 no they were a good pick they they got the only counter strike opportunity on the pks that they got which was also pretty fortuitous um yeah yeah i mean i mean it, i don't know i it, it it was it's always worth the risk for you i think just because uh you know the the odds to so, get counter struck there are a little ever so slightly better but the value for me counter striking you is pretty low relatively compared yeah. to the value so, of you getting that wound there the, i didn't take the first attack because i was more interested yep. in forcing you to have to take an lea if you wanted to go attack my start zone the second time around i was like if i get this kill oh yeah i mess it's, up it's your huge. entire plan yeah yeah no the game is um and bad. if i lose this phantom knight here it's not that bad yeah no i so. i agree it was totally worth the risk um so yeah, there, there, there was there, but yeah, and then the one that was attacking down four v five was absolutely making this yeah, kill, yeah, that, absolutely making this one. Yeah. So that yeah, was a good one. Such and is I, the nature of this game, though. I wasn't sure. I I was curious because you didn't, 
You had an opportunity, yeah, to take a 3v5 and you didn't take it. So yeah, the first 3v5, okay, my well, key goal there was my key goal there was force Azazel or this Tagala Samurai to either kill this Phantom Knight first or take an LEA if you want to go attack my start zone, which I'm more worried about than you attacking this PK. Okay. Yeah, this map is garbage. That's yeah. also true. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I do not like how this map played at all. I hate what, it. it. That's why I felt like Brunek. I was like, okay, well, I took the Tagawa. They're great. They're never going to be able to. No, get I get, there. I get it. Brunek was Brunek was assault. No, I Brunek I, 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 just for that carry. I, it's so stupid, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I think Brunek was a solid pick. Um, no, I, I think, I think your picks were solid. I'm not sure I agree with the um. The banning. Um, <laughs> I mean, you go to. DM, I, I definitely right? should have. I, I I will admit, I forgot that you were going to be able. You could draft a single squad of PKs, um, and I do think that was an oversight on my part. Mm. Um, gotcha. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, they they ended up not not doing anything, but that I I didn't. I wasn't too concerned about them either until I ended up drafting Azazel right at the end. And then it became, well, uh, yeah, it, it became a, a game of, of trying to. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Longest, um, so. I think, I think your draft was solid. I don't know if it's the draft that I, I think, I think you, I think you gave yourself one of the best chances to win in this particular scenario. I do think that it was um, it had a very real chance of going very wrong. Yeah, I if that makes the, sense. The meme play maybe wasn't the best play, but it did work out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think banning. Yeah, I, I still think banning. Maybe even banning one XPKs is maybe slightly better than banning two XPKs. I don't know. Well, it's one of things you, where it's yeah. like. I, I still think 2x is the better call just because you then have to really think because PKs are very good on this map. They're like they're 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 so much better on this map it's, it's than actually, pretty much every other nuts. thing here. Because the thing is, I I think I don't know if I've ever played on this map. And I just had no idea like the the way you can just set someone right here to just complete like that's it. Your development's done. Because yep. there's no other yep. path up there. That's crazy. I, I didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's oh so God. it's so busted. No, that's actually it's it's actually insane. The what the Phantom Knights can do on this map. Now, granted, they didn't exist when this map was made, but Memory did. So I don't know what drugs they were taking. Uh, the people that this. designed these scenarios for these games were not thinking about how to abuse them. I mean, I imagine, yeah, I imagine if you had some sort of scenario army, maybe both slow moving melee or something, it might be interesting. Um, I also think if you just took one level down off the top, it might be okay. Cause then oh, you mean least, instead of level least, six, make it level five? And at least level five figures with six move could get up there and go down. Yeah, that feel down. that feels considerably less. That worse. seems like it I would still be don't okay. love this map. I would oh, still no, hate no. this map even with that. That's but fair. that would make it. It would make a significant. Oh, difference. that 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 would yeah, that yeah. would make it a lot better. Oh yeah. Well, and less less movement to get up, coming like on the the little trail. Yeah, yeah. I, that that would be like yeah. the easiest change you could make was just chopping off that top level for sure. Yep. Um, All right. Well, yeah. I'm assuming it's probably getting pretty. Late. It is. It is. And uh, I should probably go take care of some stuff. So yes. I will catch you around. Yeah, I'm sure you have plenty, plenty to do with the new house. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for the game. I'll, Absolutely. I'll see you around. All right. Well, we pulled it out. It was quite an interesting game and quite an interesting draft, despite the map feeling really unfun and really punishing. Playing Dice was always fun. And the, I feel like we played the army well. We got super lucky on that initiative, for sure, uh, where we put all our order markers on things that could be easily destroyed in one hit. Right, but that's what we need to win the game. I, I'll i try and take the draft more seriously in the future, but I don't know. The meme pick worked out. Bans 5x Shadowhounds. So... <laughs>
uh, that, that was, uh, that was the draft and that was the game. Um, couple reminders, uh, sign up for my online tournament, Destroyer Dan coming out May 4th. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, OST special event is this weekend. I'll be streaming. Uh, you should sign up as well. Single day tournament, team tournament, my first team tournament, actually, uh, online or in person, which would be cool. Um, I've got some new merch coming to the store at some point. It'll probably be at the end of this week, I think. I, I It's ready. I just need to decide when to release it. And I, I think the end of this week would be appropriate. Um, I've got a new video out. I just posted the other day a real, uh, you know, live play tournament with my brother, uh, game with my brother. That was super fun. Uh, Lincoln Seasonal just happened. That was a ton of fun. You can check out how that went uh, on the, uh, on the forums, uh, I also have, uh, a new myth out, a new fan fiction, uh, from a game I played, uh, called Sniper, featuring Dead Eye Dan, uh, posted that on the forums, it's fun as well, uh, I've got a, a custom, looking for feedback on my custom thread, uh, if you want to check that out, I'd appreciate it, it's got some feedback already, uh, but absolutely, always welcome more, um, it's for the NGC contest. Uh, which I think is really cool. I'm quite proud of the unit. Uh, I think uh, I love the the story behind it. I'm I'm really happy with how that turned out. And I think that is everything. It is getting really late, so I'm just gonna head to bed. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to sign out. Mm -hmm.